Our next stop, California, where super highways abound for both cars and high-speed internet. But far above us, another super highway is about to take on traffic, a digital super highway that may someday connect virtually everyone on Earth. Let's take a look. Today, our world is heavily connected, thanks to the use of undersea cables, ground-based fiber, and of course, satellites. But this technology doesn't connect everyone. There's still a huge void that needs to be filled. If you look at the world today, there's only two levels of communications. We at Airborne Wireless believe there's a great untapped potential by utilizing that middle space to create a whole new layer of global connectivity. Now the solution to filling this void in Earth's connectivity lies in finding the right technology that offers low cost and high speed connectivity uninterrupted virtually anywhere on Earth, including remote places like this. Researchers here at the R&D facilities in Simi Valley, California think they may have found the answer. We're creating a, uh, a flying mesh network digital superhighway. What that means is that we have ground stations, or even they could be mounted onto a ship or an oil derrick or a locomotive. And that serves the signal up to the aircraft. There's a receiving antenna as well as a transmitting antenna. As we expand the system, there's quite a bit of uses for uh, such, a, such a network. And whether that's filling the uh, connectivity void for uh, rural area coverage, whether it's uh, providing services to oil platforms, uh, cruise ships, or even uh, disaster relief uh, emergency services. And their solution? A high-speed wireless broadband airborne network that actually links in a mesh net of commercial aircraft while they're airborne with the surface level stations, creating a digital superhighway in the sky. What we're doing is creating almost like a mesh net across the skies by using aircraft that allows for you to communicate on the X, Y, and Z levels. So you're going forward, backward, left, right, up and down. So if you run into a bad spot of weather where you can't communicate, we do an end around. We push the signal around through connected aircraft and you still have communications. In Roswell, New Mexico at the end of May of 2017, we flew two 767s in a, in a uh, circular pattern with a uh, ground earth station or a mast antenna. We're doing Skype, we're doing data transfer. Um, and it worked. What it's going to lead to is uh, now adapting that into a commercial product that we can install on multiple aircraft. Airborne Wireless Network says the success of their new network in the sky will rely on direct connection between antennas on the ground and planes in the air, as well as between the planes themselves, to create an ever-moving and self-healing communication link accessible to everyone. In other words, a virtual airborne worldwide web. We call it the Infinitus Superhighway, Infinitus being uh, unlimited. Uh, and we call it the Superhighway because there's no single point of failure. There's a great untapped potential by utilizing that middle space to create a whole new layer of global connectivity. And we plan on doing that by our patent. Our patent allows us to connect aircraft in the sky to form a wireless mesh network even the traditional wireless technology of satellites orbiting our Earth can be disabled or knocked out of orbit by space junk, whereas this new airborne network operates in a safe and controlled environment. Space junk in the sky. It, every year it's becoming a larger and larger problem. And it's going to get to a point where there's so much junk in the sky that it's dangerous for the manned vehicles especially that have to be up there. And in fact, in today's Wall Street Journal, there was an article related to how our system can help mitigate that and provide service that, uh, that isn't subject to that kind of uh, danger. An airborne digital highway may very well be a logical solution to fill this world's connectivity void. So if you're tired how crowded our Earth superhighways have become, you can take comfort in knowing there's a superhighway up above with a lot more room for cruising. Our next stop, 